Hi, it's Ashley from Sweet Dreams Bake Shop and welcome back to my channel where I make a lot of cake and cookie decorating tutorials as well as give a lot of baking business tips. Now I actually did an entire live where I showed you how to bake these cookies from start to finish. So if you like an in-depth tutorial, then definitely go and check that out. And I also have my classic sugar cookie recipe here on my channel as well. So you can check that out if you prefer that instead. Now for my pipe and flood consistency today, I am using just royal icing mixed with a little bit of meringue powder and water for exact measurements and ratios and all of that you can definitely go and check out this video in the right hand corner where I talk a lot about pipe and flood consistency and today we're not going to be changing the consistency at all we're using pipe and flood the whole time now, if you've always wanted that kind of puffy look for your royal icing sugar cookies, rather than seeing a border and then having it all filled in, what you need to do is you basically need to take your pipe and flood consistency outline and then right away go ahead and fill it in. Now, you'll notice I've cut my tip pretty thick for this particular cookie. It doesn't really need those fine, delicate edges, so I can go a little bit thicker on this and it's really going to save my hand from cramping up. It's going to allow that flow to be a little bit faster. So if you are feeling a little bit nervous about that, perhaps cut it just a little bit smaller and then you can fill it in little by little. But I assure you after your first and second cookie, you'll feel a little bit more confident and you can go ahead and cut that tip a little bit bigger. Now you'll notice I'm saying things like cutting the tip. Yes, I am using a tipless piping bag. I used to use metal tips all the time, but I would get curling on them. They would get clogged, backed up. And I just feel like I have so much more control when it comes to a tipless piping bag and I also have so much more option for how big I want that hole to be. Now there really is nothing too special about the way that I'm going to monogram these, but one little tip I can give you is make sure that that icing is fully, fully dry on that first layer there. Because if you try to put this on when it's a little bit tacky or wet still, you're going to run into trouble and things are going to start to sink into one another. So definitely dehydrate your cookies. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you can check out this video in the right hand corner. I wanted to show you guys here in real time how slow the piping really goes when you're first starting off. Now, I've done a lot of monogram cookies in my time, but it's always about finding that right font and finding the right flow and the right size for your cookie. And you'll notice there on that second one, I was way, way faster and it wasn't sped up whatsoever. Now it's time to move on to the sugar lace. And first you're going to start off with a little bit of Tylos powder and then some hot water. And you really wanna make sure that everything gets dissolved. Then I added in some cornstarch and some icing sugar. Now don't worry for all of the measurements and the exact recipe, I did reference another video here on YouTube, so I'm just going to link that down below. Now, I did have to pull out my immersion blender really to get this nice and smooth. I just found no matter how long I left it for, the chunks were still there. I actually made some edible glue, which is really just Tylos powder and water, and that did eventually get rid of all the chunks on its own, but it took way too long. And quite frankly, I don't have time to wait when I want to make the sugar lace right away. So just go ahead and use an immersion blender if you need to, to get rid of all of those chunks. Or you can also use a sieve, but I do worry that you might lose some of that Tylos and we do need that to make sure that this stays kind of nice and pliable. Now getting it into the mold is easy. You just wanna make sure that there's no excess. You really wanna make sure that it is all filling in every single gap. Now I baked this at 175 degrees Fahrenheit for approximately 13 minutes. And at first it really could not come out of the mold. If it can't come out of your sugar lace mold, then it's not ready. It should be able to just come out fairly easily, but it should still be pliable. So when I used this same recipe and I used the same mold on a cake, it was much more pliable and I was a lot more careful with the timing of that bake. But because these were for cookies, it was fine if it was a little bit more brittle. It didn't need to wrap around anything. Everything would be relatively flat. And applying this is very easy. I'm just taking a little bit of edible glue and then cutting out the shape that I want and placing it on there and it will stick. And edible glue, like I mentioned, is really just water and Tylos powder mixed together. There is no magic ratio. I would start with about one tablespoon, go ahead and add some warm water in there and you will be able to develop what is a good texture for you and what it is that you're doing. Now let's get into the pricing of these cookies. If you guys saw my short with these cookies, then you already know the pricing. I would charge $4 for the ones with the plain monogram and $4.75 for those that have the sugar lace on there. And of course, there would be a dollar minimum implemented. So whatever that may be at your bakery, your bakery minimums might be different depending on the event, or you might just have a straight across bakery minimum. 
So if you guys try out this sugar lace cookie idea, then please follow me at SD Bake Shop on Instagram where you can either tag me in that photo or send me a photo. Really though, any and all dessert levels are welcome. Thanks so much for watching guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you can be part of the Sweetie Fam. Right now I'm uploading weekly so make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. Also be sure to comment, request, or ask a question. I love hearing from you guys. Bye!